So, so hello everybody out there in YouTube land, Facebook land. Never, never land in the land of the rubber band. Yeah, he's cheap. Well, this one goes out to uh, brother Ed of the North. I know you're concerned about my my welding, but uh, like I said, I got 40 years under my belt. And gates have been uh, one of my specialties. As you can see, center barrel is welded up nice and tight. And uh, she pivots. Same thing with the auto. Same thing with the auto uh, hinge with the center barrel. I just gotta do the out. Uh, gotta do the outers. I don't have time to do them today. As you can see, pivots freely. Uh, there's a trick behind this, and this is the trick. Uh, when you do a, a flat saddle plate like this, your best bet is to weld them along the, the center line. Less chance of the team pulling. And bending a pipe and causing uh and causing the the hinge to bind. Some tricks I had learned over the years. Like I said, uh the the problem that you had mentioned, um Ed, I made that mistake when I was 14. Never made that mistake again. Uh I learned my welding from my from my uncle. And my, my uncle was the one that told me, boy, you screwed up the way you did the, if you get in bind, then you're doing them wrong. So, over the years, I learned how to do them right. And what I did was, uh, I tacked it up in that barbell shaped uh, uh, notch. And the lat, uh, the, uh, before my cover pass, my, my last pass down the middle, after I stacked the beads on the inside, I, I completed the plug welds on the outside. I mean, I soaked these things. I cranked them up. Uh, uh, I went up with a really, really, really hot pass. And went in there and blasted them. But I knew already, once I got, I got them where I wanted them, it doesn't matter. How hot I went after that, I would never bend this thing because she's true already. So there you go. Hot pass is done. I just gotta come in later on when it's cool. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna sand the, the head off this bead so it'll sit uh uh flat on this uh corner post over there. I mean uh gate post over there, that green post in the corner. Uh Actually, that post was too short for the project, but this line, this pipe, uh, actually came from the uh, from the old plantation, and this is for the for the overhead uh, the overhead sprinkler system, which is like a. Uh, 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 Rain bird on on steroids. Oh, no wonder that thing was so bright. <laughs> I had the thing on nighttime, night shot plus. Ooh, hard. But anyway, I gotta uh, get those beads ground down. And uh, as you can see on this saw. Uh, on these posts, these gate posts, I uh, I sanded this whole line right here because uh, I don't even know exactly where I'm gonna put the, the hinges uh, yet, but they gotta match with this gate here, and I'm uh, I know that my my bottom. My bottom hinge, the uh, the lower collar 
got to be right there uh, from the hinge uh, from the hinge segment the large barrel will be on the, the post the upper the upper collar, collar will be around here and I'm thinking I might just do the same thing up here uh, bottom collar top collar and uh, and leave it at that and I think she should, uh, she should handle this gate uh, my my welds don't fail uh, don't fail uh, just uh, over the years uh, you know I, I might sound cocky but you know over the years we're talking 40 well actually over 40 now a little over 40 almost 41 <coughs> uh, I've been doing this stuff and uh, as soon as I get the the uh, the hinges set up on this then uh, I'll get this uh, get this ready to put in the ground the first pipe I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in the ground will be that one and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, put it dead center in the middle of a hole. Uh, and then I'm gonna core it with concrete. This one will go down the the full depth of uh, that a that a gate post has to go into the ground, and then it'll be cored with concrete. Then that will slip over this, and be, that will be cored with concrete. Uh, on the inside and the outer ring and uh, there'll be no problem I'll have uh, uh, to tie in the uh, the bottom plug concrete plug I'll have uh, rebar stuck in it the, the concrete plug on the bottom so that uh, they all tie in together and uh, when I put a uh, when I put a concrete it'll be the same way I do this I'll put a concrete in the hole Force the pipe down to the concrete. The concrete will come up the core of the of the pipe, and then I'll core it the rest of the way. When the things are uh, uh, when the things are set and cured, uh, or or uh, yeah, when the thing is set and, and almost cured, then I'll come in and I'll set up that one. And before I hang this gate, I'll make sure the concrete in it. Uh, in this uh, entire array right here is uh, completely cured I'm not gonna hang this gate on something half cured no way no how it's not how I was taught uh, it'll ruin my reputation and I have a very long reputation of uh, heavy-duty work my first company that I own was named Animals heavy duty repair tech. Uh, when I got out of high uh, high school, <laughs> uh, when I got out of prison, uh, I used my prison nickname to name my company. In prison, I had a, a, a heavy duty uh, uh, reputation for getting a job done. The most uh, the most uh, uh, break-proof uh, welds in the in the correctional system in the Hawaii uh, correctional system. Uh, there's uh, there was four of us: Alan Bakhtad, myself, uh, John Kalamau, and his other guy Gilbert Mook. Uh, we're the best. We had the strongest welds, and uh, any time there was stuff to be made, especially when it came down to fences and gates, was me and Gilbert on fences and gates, buildings, uh, building construction was me and John Kalamau, and heavy equipment was me and Alan Bakhtan. So either way, I was in every one of them. Like I said, I have a very long reputation in heavy-duty welds. And uh, I will 
sometimes get a little defensive about my about my welding. Uh, nothing personal. Uh, it's just the way I am. Uh, I will defend my reputation as a welder against anybody. Friend or foe, doesn't matter. If they have a doubt, then I'll I'll let them know what time it is. Just the way it is with me. It's my way. Like I said, heavy duty. It's my reputation. My family knows it. The state of Hawaii uh, Corrections Division knows it. Uh, my hometown, where I did uh, majority of my welding, knows it. And every uh, trucking company I ever drove for knows it because I wasn't just a truck driver, I was a welder. And I repaired, uh, I did all the welding repairs for every trucking company I ever worked for. And uh, like I said, my, my reputation precedes myself. Uh, so I'm just going on a record to, to state that they, uh, I don't make those kind of mistakes because I don't have time to make those kinds of mistakes. I only have time to get the job done and right now I'm way behind schedule on, on delivering this, uh, this gate. So, even though I'm behind schedule, I will not uh, get ahead of myself and uh, and end up messing up on the on the setting up of this uh, of these hinges. And a good part about doing it this way is that when I'm done, I can come back and I can weld that gap without worrying about this uh, pipe moving. Once this anchor plate is in place on the uh, on the gate post. This pipe can't go in any, any other, other way. And uh, as a rule, you always weld from the outside in. Then you go to the other side, outside in. Then you come over, outside in, outside in. And you'll never have a problem with pulling. And uh, when that's done, this will never, ever, ever move. And even if I didn't weld, even if I didn't weld those margins, there would still be superior welds. So either way, that's what I got. And uh, as I said, uh, the mission is getting completed and uh, we are just about there. Uh, Nova, uh, like I said, don't worry about it. I'm on it. Uh, sometimes I have to take uh, long breaks because of my back. And uh, I've been learning and I've been, I've been pushing it with this gate. And as heavy as this gate is, you don't have to worry about opening and closing because the gate is not a uh, gate post will never sag not the way I, uh, I'm gonna do it and these uh, these hinges are really 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 heavy duty so you never have to worry about opening and closing your gate that is really hefty 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 stuff Although I'm only using two hinges on a gate that, that weighs just about 400 pounds, this will never give. Not in my lifetime, not in yours, not in anybody else's, not even in, in your son's lifetime. And uh, as I said uh, before, and I've, uh, I've already affirmed this with, with, uh, with all my friends on YouTube, so... I can't, uh, I can't back out of it. Your gate comes with a lifetime warranty. 
And as long as I'm alive, if it breaks, I will fix it for you for free. And that's all I got for now. You two garage gang brothers, this is old chief. Aloha. Wide.